Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last episode, what did we do? Oh, we defended the camp another time. And I believe we also created our armor? Our new awesome armor. Our padded infused greater siphoner leather overcoat. That is a mouthful. And it is amazing. And we also made some infused greater siphoner leather type of boots. We also fished up a ghost face, so we're going to want to bring that with us back to uh, old Ford Geezer at some point. Right, but that can wait till later. So first, we're going to go ahead and make some repair kits. And then we're going to be off. Oh, I want more dynamite. I don't have any on me at the moment. I guess we'll take two of it. Does mean I have two lying around? Do I have two lying around? That might is this type of thing. I have none. I have none? Maybe I have some in a different location. Ooh, that would have been a good thing to bring back with me earlier. <laughs> which I wish I realized I had that there. Um Yes, Tim, you should you should get going. Time is a wasting. But I wanted something, and I've already forgotten what I said. What I said I wanted. Okay, let's go ahead and come back here again. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Do I have any other bolts here that I want to bring with me? So let's bring. Actually, why don't we take as much of this out? of this place and move it to a different location because I have a hunch that this camp the next time it comes under attack everyone here is going to be dead I want all of this all of it comes with me we're gonna go ahead and put some more stuff on the beach just in case. Actually, we'll talk to first to the good Chief Briggs. Chief, what's the camp security status? There are currently 24 SEC troopers defending the camp. Our fire and ammunition supplies are quickly diminishing. High-tech equipment supplies are running extremely low, as are medical supplies. Our jet ski numbers are still very good. That is all. I'll leave you to your work, Captain. Or General, or whatever you are. Whatever rank you are, I'll leave you to it. I don't think we have any more M7s. I don't think we picked up anything of that sort from the research facility. Blistering Sands. That was the name of it. Blistering Sands. Was that last episode as well? <laughs> I just played that episode like a few minutes ago. Like, well, not a few minutes ago. Like an hour or two ago. I can't remember already. Okay, so, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and litter this entire area with... Oh, that was a shame. Most of the Caltrops didn't, didn't go anywhere. There we go. This will slow down some of the initial wave of melee attackers, and they might stumble up upon each other, which will help us out greatly. I want some more here, and then that will do it. That'll be also all the caltrops used. Okay. Next. Um, let's place a trap or two as well. I don't think the camp will survive another two attacks. That was really close. They came extremely close to where all of us were situated. Actually, we'll put a 
Oh, no. Put, um... Yeah, go ahead and put another Acid Blob Trap down here, Tim. Okay. And that frees up our movement. We're back up to 138. I want to put all of our stuff someplace else, which isn't the camp. I have a lot of loot here, but I'm going to leave the loot here. If I lose the loot, um, worry about that later. But our equipment is very precious to me. So we're going to move it over here. Maybe we can find the ferryman there. And it occurred to me that if I can't find the ferryman here this right now, we can probably just call him and ask him where he's located and or tell him what we need done. Assuming that he's still alive. And he is not here. Okay, crates. We're gonna go ahead and leave some things here. Leave some miscellaneous stuff here that I probably won't need. And this play this one will gain all of the of the rest. I'm gonna leave the Molotovs here. Maybe we'll take some leper poison. I won't need those. The MK3s, leave those behind as well at the moment. Okay, we could keep the rest of the bolts with us. Do I have the... I do still have... Actually, would you put this in some sort of other box? This is actually a great place for me to leave my stuff rather than camp. Holy crap, Tim. Got crates for all sorts of different things here. You don't have the stealth for them. Um, we'll go with this at the moment. Okay, I still didn't pick up any dynamite. I hope we don't need any. Oh, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Let's give him a call. Nope, that's... Oh, yes, this is correct. Minus the frequency, theremin. After a short delay and some jarring static. Speak. Where are you now? Over. I'm in the... I'm at the northeastern waters. You're hearing puffing smoke directly to the microphone. And after that... First, some Blier Geyser Village, the static beauty village. That's plan. Thanks. Over. Okay, so he's on his he's on his way here. I guess we can explore this little area. We'll also recharge. There's a leper serpent down here. At least one of them. Oh no! I must have been in combat against this thing at some point. Just barely couldn't kill it. Oh yeah, uncanny dodge on the boat. Yes, suck it! 
You suck it. I will take the garbage. Is that the only thing here? Oh, nope, there's another one. Oh, another one. Oh, Tim. Tim, I can't dodge it still on cooldown. Oh, that was a mistake, Tim. It was incapacitated. That's exactly what you wanted it to be. That's right. That's right, you hit my machine. Now you're dead. Give me your stuff. No skins, though. We're poisoned, but we can just let that expire normally. And we'll bandage up. We'll kill this other, I guess, serpent while we're here. I thought we explored this area, but I, 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 it's obvious we did not do so. Incapacitated is fine. That's what I like. Again, fine. Hey, some skin. 89 quality on that skin. That's amazing. I mean, granted, I'm not going to be crafting anything with it because it requires biology, but still. I wonder if the ferryman actually travels from place to place. Like, it's obvious he does travel place to place in so much that he is in different locations. I wonder if we could actually meet him as he's traveling from place to place, though. Hello. Wrong thing, Tim. This is B4. B4. Did not explore this place. Alright, let's see if he's back. Might be? No, he's not here. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't this place he was going to next. we could just ferry things to and from camp ourselves. Why don't I do that then, everyone? So I'm just going to begin moving things out of the camp and moving them over to a place where I will still have access to all the things. Actually, I can empty what's inside our vehicle right now. And I can do all this off screen rather than have you guys watch me do 20 minutes of just moving inventory around. So I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, everyone, I've done a bunch of moving stuff around, and the Fairbin still hasn't shown up here. He's still at the Geyser Village. So, we're gonna head back to Blistering Sands, because I think that's what he's talking about. Maybe we'll find him hanging out there for a, a long time. I can't... Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> Those pirates? Those ones look a little, lot more dangerous. Um, I went back to the JSHQ and moved everything I had stored in this place to our new storage home as well. Thinking that the ferryman would definitely be at the other location. If we get to where we're going and he's, he's not there, if he went to where I was just at, I will reload the game to go back there. Okay, 
I guess we'll explore some new uh, areas while we're waiting for the ferryman. So let's call him really quick. I keep pestering him, poor guy. Alright, so he's still there. We are almost there. Though I don't know where he's docked. And I doubt the natives will be friendly to us. Just because we also want to see the ferryman. Alright, time for some new territory, everyone. I'm always scanning for more um, serpents as I'm running through these areas. Northeastern village, let's go this way. I see the lights there. We'll, we will investigate. Ah, looks like whatchamacall has left some food here for the light source. Uh-oh! Well, you're right in the thick of it here, Tim. By the way, what's my combat stats here? Still 371, okay. Nice, good. Quick kill. Nice. Oh, that's a. Uh, that looks like a ballista, Tim. Don't want to get seen and fired upon. But they probably know where I'm located or beelining right for me. Still can't end combat. As long as I can be, be as long as I can be outside of all of their range, we shouldn't have any trouble. But I'd like to end combat. And just be able to leave. Oh, look at the front of the boat. It's a, like a cobra's head. That's amazing. There we go. Okay. So, we did not explore this. we don't see their patrols out here looking to intercept. I guess they're really not thinking that, like, I guess, you know, the pirates aren't actually going to attack them. And the the expedition isn't bothering with that either. Aegis Incorporated, so they probably feel pretty secure, I guess, Tim. Which is why you don't see any patrols. More lights, more torches. Or just torches. Let's see if he was here. He might have been at the other dock. And we just killed the, the people on that boat. Oh, crap. Um, there's three of them there, Tim. Now, one of them is dead. Guess we're killing the lady folk. Hello. I 
can't I can't dock here, sir. So I'm not really interested in, in fighting you either, so I'm just gonna kind of ignore you. That's a ballista. He's kind of far away. I think we'll just leave. <laughs> they can keep their ballista there. Um did not explore. Do not enter from the southeast. <laughs> okay. Well, crap, though. I kind of want to find the ferryman. Ah, uh, he's still here. Okay. Or somewhere around ish here. Hey, there he is. Hello, sir. I'm so sorry. But I need to dock, and you are in the way. Oh no! That's really super bad for us, because I can't uncanny dodge! <laughs> That's really bad for us! He's got a sledgehammer! Oh, you're you're gonna be next. I hate you. I hate you. You're a real jerk, you know that? Now you're a real dead. Well done, Tim. Charge, we can banish ourselves. And finally see if the good ferryman will help us tow the thing which is right here. Just in case there's more of them around. Ooh, hello. Bison leather. I'll take some of that with us. I wonder what type of thing that makes. Haven't seen any bison out and about yet. You must have be raising them. Hello, ferryman. Fer you find the ferryman busy as always. I guess I could use a break. What do you need this time? Show me what you have. Let's see. See, am I buying anything I've got? I will sell him that. But that's kind of it. What do you have for medical supplies? Bandages. You know what? I could use a few of them. I could use more than three, Tim. You also could probably use a little more anti-venom just to be safe. Nothing there I'm interested in. Decent quality foam padding. Oh, he's selling bison leather as well, an 88 one. What's this one? 77? He doesn't want it, but neither do I any longer because he has a better one. Let's purchase a greater fusion cell, or two. And we'll purchase some of this from him as well. So he's going to make quite a bundle on us, 331. And of course now we're overburdened because we picked up the other bison. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. We will talk to him with him. Right now I just want to leave that here.
All right, sir. About lifting heavy things. Yeah. I need a submarine moved to a certain location. A submarine. The one at the geyser facility. You've seen it, didn't you? I have. I have. I've seen it through the gate. Been there many times, but never inside the facility itself. Locked. I can't lift it into the boat because it's too large from what I've seen. But I can tow it. The question is... Why would I want to do such a thing? I'll pay you. Look, kid. Normally I wouldn't give a rotten fish about moving that submarine for you. But I had this feeling doing so would... Yes. Would bring an end to this whole chaos much quicker. But I'll need to cover my expenses. Where do you need it moved? To the southeastern part of the Black Sea. There's supposed to be an elevator there leading to a deep sea mining station. The submarine itself is ready to be towed. Ah, yes, in the Grim Jetter's territory. I can do that. I can do that, kid. That'll cost you 700 Charons. Here you go. Fine. I'll tell the submarine as soon as I'm done here. Anything else before I leave, kid? Nope. I'm off. See you some other time. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice. Let's head on down there, then. So, also, we can leave this here. And I think he's towing it here. Or here, if I recall correctly. Let's check our NAVCOM again. L2. Oh! We haven't even been to L2 yet. Tim, you haven't been to L2 yet. So, L2 would be... L2 would be down here. It would be, I think, one of these... Uh, this is one. It's either at this location or close to it. Where is... That's K? So, this would be L. It's at this location. Right there. All right, let's let's get there. fight heart seekers. You don't have any biology. It's not going to help you at all to fight them. I took a look online on the crafting um on crafting? I think it was on the normal wiki for uh, Underrail and Heartbreaker Poison looks like it requires 130 biology to make it. That is a huge investment but it is a powerful poison. If I was to go biology with Garrett, then that would mean no more points in anything else aside from basically biology. And while it would allow me to make certain chemicals, like acid bolts and what have you, I think I'm at the point of the game where it's not going to matter very much longer. I have got all the elemental bolts I could possibly want, and, or not possibly want, but I have a ton of them, and Garrett himself, he didn't use poisons. Not that regularly, at least. In fact, no, he didn't use poisons at all, if I recall correctly, in any of the, the any of the series I played, at least. And I'm trying to still make a thematic character. We have one more feat left to take as well, and I'm thinking of taking critical power. It'll be that, or it'll be one of the knife attacks. Right? Well, actually, what do we have? We have Crippling Strike. We have Exposed Weakness. Aim Shot. 
are the things we've... Where am I going? <laughs> I'm not going in the right direction, that's for sure. Why was I heading up this way? I've got no clue. I'm not, I'm not, I don't need to head back to base. I got everything I need to head directly there, and I went in the completely wrong direction. I wonder if the pirates and ages fight on the seas, and that's how you you lose your your what you call it your jet uh, your water skis. Should have enough food for this, assuming that the final location doesn't take it an hour and twenty minutes more. We'll avoid the leper serpents. I'm glad to say the pirates also don't replenish their numbers. I guess they don't have they have no one else coming in this place and visiting them. I'd like to take our vessel there, but maybe it'd be best if we don't. I think Tim, you go this way once. We didn't fully explore the pirate ter territory either. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to fight their fort. At least we don't need to at the moment. could dock here and walk the rest of the way, but I think the spiders have probably come back by now. Let's see if we can just avoid them. Alright, I think this is the location. This is L2. I think. K2. Nope, one more, one more to the south. Hey, there's a sub! Thank you, sir, very much. Alright, everyone. Guess it's time for us to go down to the depths. I can't think of anything else we need to do up here. I've got everything I would want, except for more dynamite. We'll prepare to meet more robots while we're down there at the start. It's probably what we'll be fighting. Let's actually move this over here, too. All right. Welcome, error. Main controls? Let's dive. Verifying coordinates. Done. Performing thruster capability test. Passed. Pinging sub nav units. Zero units responded. Obtaining gyro compass information. Done. Plotting course. Done. Vessel is ready to dive to Abyssal Station Zero. You glimpse faint, gloomy shapes of sunken vessels and debris around you before descending into the darkness.
The walls are getting closer. You're descending into a gorge of some sort. What was that? You stare outside. Hmm. You see a blue light on one of the walls, a beacon. Then the space around you begins to expand. Was a test depth of 2,700 meters. With a possible depth of 4,000. Don't fall apart, damn it. You see another beacon. Come on. Another beacon. The station must be close. Thousand four hundred thirty seven. Main controls. Thruster status. Same status as before. Navigation system. Course. We can't enter any other course. We'll have to hope there's another way out of here. Unless this thing is able to surface back automatically. Life support check. Still fine. Or good enough for us, since we're not in here for very long. Wood oxygen tank with a few cryo canisters next to it. They all appear to be powered and functional, maintaining the low temperature necessary for oxygen to remain in liquid form. It reads on the side, Elevator Control Console. It is, however, out of order. It's dead. There's a gaping hole in its chest, apparently made by a plasma projectile.
firefight. I found the plasma grenade MK3 down there. What happened here? Welcome, Pete Bridges. Unable to collect, unable to connect to Essen. Only local data is available. Cargo traffic log. Acorn, quality one, part one. Destination research and development done. And then we have parts which are brought down into different places within this area, it looks like. Contact active security supervisor? None. I'm going to guess that they killed each other. Maybe down here drove them insane. Maybe hearing all of their friends and family die up above was enough to do it. Manufacturing. Residential 2. Let's see what's up here. Actually, we should also maybe consider eating some food. Did not bring much with me. Agility 9. That's what we have normally. Well, we didn't see anyone waiting for us. Not that they would have expected anyone to be here anyway. A stealth field generator, or rather a cloaking device. Our first one. A Neo Luger, that was worth quite a bit of money. Smart module, we'll take that. Steel boots, wow, high level steel boots. Look at that durability, 1,950. This is end game gear, but useless for us. Armor penalty is too high. And it weighs six pounds, so it's not worth the money if we were to bring it back up. We'll break it down. The Luger, however, is worth something. Actually, the first thing we should do is make our repair kits. we should consider using the stealth field. The issue with the stealth field, and we haven't used one yet in this entire playlist, is that it requires being placed on one of your active slots. Still, we don't have one yet, so we'll go ahead and put it here. We need 68 energy. As you can see, it improves our stealth by 38 and evasion by 19. It consumes 20 energy to turn it on and five and 6.84 energy every other five seconds. So we're, it's only going to be working a t for a tiny, tiny bit. We've got maybe like half a minute with it. We're also rather lucky. We stepped out of the ship and found oxygen down here. It could have been much worse. We could have opened up that gate and, as, and uh, asphyxiated.
the weight on these is too much. We don't need that. We're gonna have to be very selective of what we decide to take with us from this place. Cameras are still working. I thought it was a ghost. Residential 2 food processing. It might be, but that looked like a normal person just running around. Most of the dishes are moldy and appear as though they haven't been touched in a long time. There is some disgusting puke green mass in the sink as well. A detailed health report on the subaslander population transferred from Atlantis to Lemuria. It clearly promotes their suitability for life in compact, isolated environments like the Abyssal Station Zero. Welcome, P. Bridges. Unable to connect to Asin. Only local data is available. Notes. Notes. Medical medication synthesis unit reminder. Useful substitutes in case of shortages. Bullhead focus stim. Attention deficit disorder. Third eye. Perceptual disorders. Hypercerebrics. Cognitive disorders. Jumping bean. Physical disorders. Twitch. Reflexes. Medical records. Todd Newman. Patient personal information. Full name Todd Agnes Newman. Birth date LEAD 1910-226. He's got an address. He's married to Savena Stigolvin. Oivinder. He's allergic to aspirin, dust, and nickel. Looks like he's basically in the normal range. I'm a little nervous that when we, if, or if we talk to this gentleman, Todd, 
that he will turn into a monster and eat her face. So I'm going to ignore him at the moment. I think that's going to be best. Otherwise, it looks like he's just out and about exercising. We'll take those laser pistols. No, we're not going to kill him. Not yet. I don't. I have no intention to do so unless we know he's hostile. Can't go that way, Tim. Gotta go this way. Security cam. I don't know if the security camera is going to be hostile to us. Medication synthesis unit. Please select the item you wish to synthesize. The percentage of the total med sith chemical content required for synthesis is displayed next to each item. We're almost out of it. So we should... I don't know if we need something for the poor gentleman out there. Let's take a jumping bean. Are you sure about that, Tim? Yeah. Dodge innovation by 25% and 10 more action points for four turns. I love how the lockers are, they look just like part of the wall. Tool Bracer, Abyssal Station Zero. Through a transparent cover, you can see slots for various tools, none of which are present. These tools are stored around the user's forearm and could be rotated until reaching an opening in the interior side. From here, they are likely inserted into or even extracted from the hand. Unfortunately, this neat looking device doesn't appear to be functional anymore. We'll still take it. Picks two blueprints side by side, one for the handmaidens, the other for strongmen. Certain components are highlighted on both sides of their properties displayed, presumably for comparison. F 
food processing aquaponics. Must be a reason why we hear him breathing. I think it would be very bad for him to see us. Oh, the lights come on automatically when you walk into these rooms. Pretty fast runner, too. A digital frame displaying an animated family photograph. Oh, you didn't search those lockers. If he's alive, I'm going to kind of feel guilty about... Like, if he's alive and not hostile, I'm going to feel kind of guilty searching all the rooms for things. Possible. Oh, we need hacking for that. A small hand sized animated picture frame. It is heavily damaged, with one side being completely dark and the other notice notably distorted with its animation frozen, all which gives the people still depicted an unnerving appearance as they stare at the missing half. Prednisone solution. Prednisone belongs to a class of drugs known as corticosteroids. It decreases your immune system's response to various diseases to reduce certain symptoms. Yep, I've been on that many times. In my case, for Crohn's disease, it helps. Uh, it helps with inflammation. It stops your body from actually doing it. Chewed up pill bottle. An empty bottle of, I can't pronounce it, a potent antidepressant. Someone was in a hurry to get those pills. I can only think the reason they added him making sounds is because they want you knowing where he is. 
And the only reason I can think of why they want that to happen is they want you to avoid him. So, we're doing it. We're doing that exact thing at the moment. The name etched into the wall in big shaky letters. Michael. It's a piece of e-paper containing a shaky drawing of Lumeria. Buildings, people, servants, horned animals, crimson meadows. It's all there underneath a towering blue light. Child care. Fitness room. happen if we reroute the doors? Like, will he start coming down this way? Will he even notice the fact that we've done this to the to the door? Nope. He opens the door again. It's worth $12,000 and weighs less than a pound. We're taking it. Okay, everyone, I think it's time for us to get seen. I've checked all the crew quarters here. The only person who's still here is Todd. There is this gate control. I guess we can look at that first. Oh, whoa, whoa, Garrett, where are you going? You'll run right into him. Let's do this first. Abyssal Station Zero, Research and Development Dome. Bring your hand close to it. Authenticating. Welcome, Pete Bridges. Authorizing. Authorization failed. Outdated implant security model version. Please report to the medical office in either residential domes for necessary implant updates or replacement. Hmm. Okay, we have just enough time left in this episode, everyone, to say hello to our running friend. Right, what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, he observes you with caution, panting heavily while at the same time trying to be still as possible. He takes his time with the greeting. Hi. I hope I didn't scare you there. It takes him some time, more time to respond. Hi. I never thought I'd find anyone alive down here. He thinks long about your question. I am alive. 
Who are you, anyway? Todd. My name is Todd. Todd Newman. Nice to... It's nice... Uh... Nice to meet you, mister. Todd, what can you tell me about this station? When you say station, what do you mean? The Abyssal Station. This whole enclosed space you and I are in. Your home. Oh. Well. Huh. I've never asked a question like that. Without warning, his tenor in his voice turns into a high-pitched, hoarse falsetto. Todd! Who are you talking to? Then it drops into a bassy rumble. By the depths. What is all this commotion? He pauses. Who is this person? Who is this person, boy? Oh, mother... F f f father... This is, a uh, uh, Outsider. He came from... From the outside? Is it from the outside? Speak! It's a... Man! Leave it, Shelly. A woman wouldn't make a difference anyway. The boy's useless. Angus, don't draw attention to it in front of the visitor. Who gives a damn woman? If only... Oh, if only we had more children, Shelley. Many children. Then we could afford a failure or two. Mother, father, n not in front of Mr. Outsider, please. Why... Why do you always have to be so mean to me? Why? Why? Shut up, you sniveling idiot. Shut up! Can I say something? Oh, they both respond no. Listen to me. You stop talking to this person to this instance, this instance, and return to your exercise. You got that, boy? You got that? You listen to your father now, Todd, and don't forget to eat the nutrient bars I prepared for you. Sorry, everyone. I, I thought it was like a high-pitched, like, creepy voice, but it's just... He's doing his best to imitate a girl, I guess. Yes, mother. Father. He clears his throat, clearly hurt by the insane acrobatics his vocal cords have endured. <clears throat> Sorry, mister. I have to go, uh, exercise. Wait, wait. Why do you have to exercise? He jogs away. Hmm. One more thing, everyone, then we'll call the session, and we'll pick up the rest of this later. I'm thinking that we may be able to pick his pocket. I don't want to use a trap or anything like that on him, so I'm hoping the door slows him down long enough for us to do this. It may not. Maybe it will. No, Garrett. No! Garrett, where are you going? Darn it. Oh, you stupid idiot, Garrett. What the hell? All right, let's wait here for him. <laughs> Click here. Garrett runs around, the runs around the entire place. No, Garrett, you do not need exercise. Oh, we we'll want to search this room, too. I didn't even notice that room. Oh, well, he might have a key card on him, but otherwise we need his hand. We don't have any persuasion, so that's not going to work. We should check the synthesizer, Tim. You may have produced a drug that would have helped him. Ah, there's no way that's going to work, Tim. Nope. Nope. Some decent Kelver cloth, similar to what we had have at home. You can see power levels for the whole station here, but nothing I can interact with.
Hmm. Maybe we do need to somehow redirect them up here. He won't be able to open the door from that direction. So that will force him up in th up in this direction. So that seals all of this area. But it locks you in as well, Tim. You don't want to do that. I wonder what he'll do. I don't even hear him anymore. Oh, he stopped. He's inside the exercise room now. An odor of pungent sour sweetness mixed with sweet sweat permeates the air. The ventilation units appear to be out of order. Oh, poor guy's smelling up a storm. Don't mind me, Todd. I'm checking. No! Nope! No, Todd! No, no, no! Todd! Todd, where are you going? <clears throat> That's fine, Todd. Yep, stay, stay there. Stay there. Stay there for a little bit. Stay. No! No! Stay! Bad Todd! Bad Todd! So he's looking for another way to run around, and there isn't one. Let's see what he does. No! No! No, Todd! No! 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 <laughs> Todd, I would want to pick your pocket. Stop running away from me. I don't have anything but lint, but I would like to know. I wonder where he'll go. Will he open the door on this side? He will. Interesting. So he is going around it in the opposite direction now. So if I open this again, and I shut this one, Can we get back around here quick enough and kind of seal him in? Actually, he won't be sealed in. He can go through a he can go through a different room. But we can get in the way. Hello, Todd. How are you, sir? Don't mind me when I pick your pocket again, or for the first time. Nothing! Nothing. Alright, everyone, I'm going to stop here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.